My goodness me. The next Black Pound Day is actually today, you know. The 7th of the 11th, 2020. So yesterday I made a video talking about BBC3. Now I haven't uh, released it yet, but I'm going to soon. You may see it next month because I've got all of my videos scheduled. But I'll release this video today because I've just found out that the next Black Pound Day is today. Now at the end of that BBC3 video that I made, when I was talking about BBC3, towards the end of the video I was talking about Black Pound Day. And I slightly think it's racist. The reason why I think it's racist, if you go out of your way, I don't give a fuck what day or what week or what you... If you go out of your way to specifically boycott all other businesses and only nominate black businesses to spend your money in, that's slightly racist. What is racism built upon? Looking at people's colour and making a decision. Creating difference. Creating division. Me personally, I will never support Black Pound Day. I don't give a fuck what race the person is in this shop. Have they got the goods and the products that I want? Yes or no? If the answer is yes, I don't give a fuck if the guy who owns the shop is Romanian, uh, Bulgarian, uh, Lithuanian, from Bangladesh, from Somalia. I don't give a fuck what nationality or race the person who owns the shop is. Do they have the products that I want? If the answer is yes, I'm going to go in there. I'm not going to uh, boycott all shops on one particular day or week or year or whatever. And, 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 not, and not go into those shops because, because of the colour of their skin. What kind of bullshit is this? Now, I know there's certain individuals watching this right now. I think, hold oh, on a minute. I know Polish people that specifically shop at the Polish shop. You know why that is? Because there's probably specific products that they can only find in the Polish shop. That's it. If they can find those same products in Asda, Lidl, Tesco, Sainsbury's, they'll be there shopping there. But they can't find those products in those shops, so they're bound to the Polish shop. You know, even if you're living abroad in a different country, you still want to feel like you're at home. Why do you think there's white people in Tenerife and Benidorm who still, you know, you know in those places, they issue the fucking Sun newspaper, you know? Like, if it's the 7th today, they will have the Sun newspaper at the same time in Benny Dorman. People are creature habits. Just because they're living somewhere else don't mean that they don't want to feel like they're at home. So when Polish people come over, they don't want to feel like they just have to buy all the, the English products. They want to still feel like they're at home. They want to buy their own products, the same stuff that they used to buy in Poland, but buy in England. They can find those same products as the Lidl, Tesco, wherever, Sainsbury's. They'll be shopping there. But they can't because they're bound to the Polish shop because the Polish shop, the only people then that have those specific products. Same like the black hair, the weave and that. Black girls are bound to the black hair shop, which none of them or hardly any of them. Now, there's one in Tottenham, to be fair. There's one black hair shop that's owned by black people in Tottenham. If you lot know Tottenham, uh, as you enter Tottenham from Edmonton on the left hand side, I think it used to be called Mr. Class or something like that. It's probably got a different name. That's how black owned black hair shop. But most of them, the black hair shops is owned by Asian people. Do you know the reason why black girls shop there to get their weave? Because they don't sell it in Asda. If they sold weave in Asda, black girls wouldn't be going specifically to the, the, uh, the black hair shop to get their weave. They'll go Asda. You know why? Because Asda probably be cheaper. No one gives a fuck about what businesses sell what products. In regards to the people them's race who sell it. No one cares. People want to know where they can get the best deal. That's it. Black pound day. What kind of nonsense is that? But that's racist. I think I'm going to only specifically shop at a shop just because of the, the race of the person and them's colour. 
Me, I'm a shop at the shops that I want to shop at. Yeah, where I'm going to get the best deals, the best customer service. Now, the only time I'll actually nominate a specific shop due to the person's background is when I go to the yard shop. When I go to the yard food shop, I want I don't give a fuck about uh, what colour the person's skin. I want only shop I only shop at Jamaican food shops. I don't even want to go to a, a Caribbean shop that's that's ran by a, a British born Jamaican. No, I want yeah, I want to hear some yardie chat in the background because for me, the Jamaicans, the yardies, they cook the best. I'm not I'm not shopping at no uh, Caribbean shop that's that's ran by Trinidadian people or Saint Lucia. No, I'm not interested in their food. I only eat from yard Jamaicans. That's the only time, eh? and I ain't got nothing to do with anyone's race. That's a specific island and nationality. I don't give a fuck if the person's a black, uh, British-born Jamaican. No, I only eat from yardies. That's it. That's the only time I'll be specific. I ain't got nothing to do with anyone's race. Yeah, I don't eat from no fucking Trinidadians or, or St. Lucians. Well, I am not going to be investing my money specifically in a shop due to the person's race on a particular day or, or, or ever. No. Have the people then got the products that I want? Yes or no? That's like employing people. Like, you know, like in America, you know what they was doing? They, they were trying to give opportunities to black people and stuff like that. Employing black people more, people of ethnic minorities more. Why? You shouldn't be employing someone based upon the colour of their skin. Have they got the skills? Have they got the knowledge? Have they got the skills and knowledge to be an asset to that business? If the answer is no, I'm not employing, I don't give a fuck about no one's colour of their skin. Have they got the skills? Have they got the knowledge to be an asset to this business? The answer is no, fuck them. Me, I employ somebody based upon the colour of their skin. How, how's that helping me? When you when you do shit like that, that see when you do stuff like just employ people because of the colour of their skin, there's gonna be those people who think to so, oh boy, I'm a, I'm gonna just milk this this uh, this current situation. I ain't even really gonna make the effort and and educate myself because I know I just play the victim. And hopefully I'll get a job. Furthermore, furthermore, I'm not supporting nobody in any way, shape or form due to the colour of their skin. I don't give a fuck. I'm not going to support a next man or a next girl because they are black. That's like reverse racism. The other day, <laughs> I was in B&M, Northampton, yeah? I'm dressed hood, shiny jacket, jeans, right? Early morning, I'm in B&M. I see in my peripherals some black woman with her partner walking towards me. Now remember, Northampton is a white area. There are black people around, but Northampton is a white area. The woman's walking towards me, I can see her in my peripherals, she said, morning, you know, I blanked her, you know. I know some of you are thinking that's fucking harsh. Why are you saying hello to me? I haven't looked at you. I haven't acknowledged you. Right, I've seen you in my peripherals, but she don't know that. She's saying hello to me because I'm a black man. I guarantee you, if I was a white boy, she would have not said hello. To me, that's like reverse racism, racism, what you want to call it. If you nominate specific people based upon how they look in the face to say hello to, that is racism. Now, if I was dressed in a three-piece suit and she wanted to say hello to me, that's cool. Oh, admiral looking young man. Let me say hello to him. Fine. But I didn't look admirable. Just looking hood, whatever, normal thing, B&M. You no, know, it's not exactly the fucking Hugo Boss shop. It's B&M, yeah? That black woman looked at me and wanted to say hello to me based upon the colour of my skin. That is racist. Because if I was a white boy, if I was Romanian, 
she would not have said nothing to me. If I was Asian, she would have not have said nothing to me. She said hello to me. Oh, he's black. Let me say hello to him. I don't give a fuck about no one color, color of their skin. What are you talking about? Don't get it twisted. Don't get it twisted. When I go back to Edmonton, it's nice to be around black people. But you know what? At the same time, I don't even give a fuck about them. I think it's just because I'm back in my ends. It's nice to be in Edmonton. I don't even think it's because because around because I'm around black people. Because if I went to another area with black people, like Catford or Peckham, that's not my area. That's not my area. Yeah, yeah, I get it. It's nice to see people who look similar to you. But at the same time, you know what? These people ain't the same as me. Yeah, we share the same image. Yeah, we're black. But, bro, the mentality is different. I ain't like none of these people around here. Most of these people, yeah, victim mentality, that's not me. I'm a fucking man. I'm not allowed no handouts. I ain't no one. I ain't no victim. If you're gonna go around saying hello to, to 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 people just because of the color of their skin, what what kind of bullshit is that? You know, sometimes I'm outside my yard. You know, I can see like black people driving past in their car, and like they say hello to me. You know, like, oh one of us. You know, if I make eye contact with a man, yeah, well, I'll go on or whatever. But I ain't looking for it and I ain't going to be going away to say hello to no one just because of the colour of their skin. Like, like to say I ain't seen a black person before. I've been out of that, like, I've been, I remember one time when I went to go and buy my motorbike, which is in Corby in Northamptonshire. So Northamptonshire is a county. And I went to go and buy my motorbike and it was at a place called Corby. Now, from my yard now, it's probably about a half an hour drive. I saw some random black man. I think he was running or something like that. And he waved to me, you know. I thought, this fucking dickhead, man. I'm not saying a lot. I ain't being friends with no one based upon the colour of their skin. No. I'll be cool with someone. I'll say hello to someone, like, if, if I know what energy you're on. And I'm not going to know what energy you're on just, just because, you know, the colour of your skin. No. It's bullshit. It's reverse racism. I'm not nominating no one to say hello to just because of the colour of their skin. Because if you do that, that means, oh, if you see a white person, you won't say hello. Now, if she was a type of person, this specific woman in B&M, if she goes around genuinely saying hello to everyone, that's cool. But I know, I know she don't. Because that would be a bit weird. You, you say morning to everyone that you walk past. Really? Everyone that you walk past, you say hello to. That's, that's weird. That's weird. I know in London, we got that mentality where we don't give a fuck about nobody. And up in... In the outskirts of, well, in other parts of England, everyone's friendly and that. But, nah. That's weird. That's fucking weird, man. So, yeah. Fact of the matter is, Black Pound Day don't mean nothing to me. I don't give a fuck about no black businesses because it's owned by a black person. I'm a shop at a shop if they got the things that I need. If you ain't got the things that I need, I don't give a fuck. I'm not going to boycott any shops. Because of the colour of the, the business owners, it's, no. Stay wise.